hi there so as you can see um, in my screen it has um, three problems for um, Z transform the focus of this video is we're going to work on the example number one and then the next video would be for um, the example number two and then the next video or the third video would be um, the example number three so um, come and join me so um, without further ado Let's begin with um, example number one. Let's begin with um, the example number one. So as you can see, we have this um, one half and use of n. So um, by identifying this is um, a causal signal. Also, as you can see, um, because of this, uh, meaning um, n should be equal to 0 um, up to positive um, infinity okay so mm -hmm, I forgot to add this okay so let's try to um, remember what is the formula for um, the Z transform so if you were um, watching my um, previous video you will come across with this um, formula so let's write it down okay so what does it mean is the summation from negative infinity to infinity of um, x of n multiplied by z raised to um, negative n okay so um, let's go ahead and um, apply this formula so let's begin with our first step okay so this would be um, n 0 because um, as what we've um, established here and then infinity so as you can see um, what I did here is just I just um, use this um, formula okay so um, by applying the um, law of exponent we would come into much um, simpler form okay so as you can see um, this is a much simpler form using the law of exponent okay so um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um evaluate this um this one okay so um by evaluating this one what we're go what will happen is that um n raised to zero would be just one plus one half z raised to negative one plus one half z raised to negative one then 2 plus okay so um that is the form of um this one so this is an essential step steps because what we're going to do here next is we're going to um substitute one half z raised to negative 1 by a so that um, it will be much simpler so so as you can see in this one this is an infinite geometric sequence and to solve this one what we're going to do here is 1 plus a plus a2 we're going to multiply this by um, 1 minus a so this is the um, x of z and since we multiply it on this one we're also going to um, add it here 
Okay. So, um, this is an important step because um, what will happen here is that um, we're going to um, multiply this one. So, um, if you try to multiply it, you will um, notice the um, importance why we multiply it by 1 minus a because um, this will further simplify um, our equation okay so if you try to uh, multiply it the result would be 1 times 1 would be 1 minus a this one okay so the second term would be 1 times a would be a And a minus a would be minus a squared. And then a times 1 would be a minus a squared minus a cubed. And then infinite. So as you can see, um, if you try to um, continue this step, um, you will notice that you will end up um, losing everything and then retaining this um, number 1 here but don't, don't forget that we're looking for um, the Z transform so we're going to um, divide this okay. 1 minus A to this one 1 minus A okay so now our answer would now be x of z is equals to 1 1 minus a um, remember that our a here is 1 absolute value okay why so let's understand why um, I have this one this is also because this is important um, we're going to use this um, expression for um, the region of convergence this an imp this is an important criteria in order to make sure that this is defined in all aspects because say for example we disobey this and make a equals to 1 so as you can see this will turn out to be false so you will result into 1 over 0 which turns out to be um, undefined also if you were um, watching my um, previous video as you can see um, we're dealing with the causal signal this one okay and as you can see um, the causal signal would look like this so remember this um, expression this one because um, later we will be able to um, see this in our example number one okay so um, let's go back and um, continue okay so now the third step would now be um, substitute with the original equation okay so um, the original equation would be 1 minus um, 1 half z is the negative 1 okay so um, that's our um, x of z now we're just um, going to find the um, region of convergence and then after that we deserve a drum roll okay so um, again if you were um, watching my previous video um, you will encounter this the definition of region of convergence which states that where the z transform converges in other words z transform exists okay it's also at the same time finding if um, the Z transform exists on this um, specific rules or criteria. Okay, so in this one, again, we're going to use this one. So it would be one half 
z raised to negative 1 and then 1 and then um, multiply by z the result would now be 1 half to z um, this is our region of um, convergence don't forget to add the absolute value okay so as you can see um, in this one um, it looks um, the same because we're dealing with the um, causal signal just uh, what I've stated here okay so and that's it that's how you solve and find the Z transform so thank you for watching and um, for the next video we're going to solve this um, example number two thank you and uh, bye bye